Okay, so this will be the uh, thrust test and review of the Racer Star RF 2204-2300 kV motor. Uh, it was sent to me by Banggood. Uh, this is how it comes. It comes in a nice box. So this is just a quick uh, look to to see what it uh, what comes in the box. Four motors and. Uh, Another box with the uh, hex, hex screws and prop uh, these uh, cone nuts. Uh, I wish they gave the, just the regular uh, regular nuts, aluminum nuts. That's what every every manufacturer is including now. So uh, these are old school. So uh, some things about the motor. Uh, it's actually uh, very nicely built. Uh, I guess this is their premium, the premium line of the Racer Star motors. Uh, as you can see, it has a, a steel shaft, and it uses a hex nut for uh, retaining the the shaft. Uh, so let's see. That's the length of the wires. About. Uh, Oh, about uh, let's see, about 60, 60 millimeters or so. Uh, the shaft uh, is not actually hollow. It's just a steel shaft. Uh, they call it a hardened steel shaft. Uh, it, it, on the Banggood page, it says it's 420 stainless and 4550 hardness. So you might want to look that up in. And Google it, see what it actually means. That's the property of the uh, of the steel. Uh, one thing I did notice is the uh, the retaining screw is not it wasn't tight, so it was pretty easy to it was pretty easy to remove. At least on this one motor that I removed, I don't know how it is on the other motors, but uh, it, it was it was actually not tight, so. I don't know. I uh, don't know if that's gonna become an issue. Uh, loosen the screw. It it, w it wasn't loose, but it was not tight either. So uh, I don't think it'll it'll undo itself and you know come off. But uh, it doesn't hurt if you were to add a little tiny drop of blue Loctite. Even just. Uh, you could also use uh, uh, nail polish, just a little tiny drop, and that'll that'll uh, that'll secure it even more. So it does seem that it was that one motor. They forgot to add a uh, Loctite or you know a thread lock on that one because this one this one's on there pretty good. Uh, it, it, it's much harder to to turn. Yeah, that's that's on pretty good. So that has Loctite. So I got the one the one motor where they forgot to add a uh, Loctite. So that was kind of strange. Oh, see that one? Oh, that one's that one's pretty loose. So it would be good for you guys if you buy this motor. To just you know pull the uh, pull the screws and add uh, some Loctite. You know you don't want to lose those in flight. Uh, it'd be a pain to have to source uh, a washer that fits. Uh, the screws seem to be just standard uh, two millimeter screws, but uh, yeah the. The washer, uh, that one, that one. There's no way you, you'll find something similar. So, so make sure you check your, make sure you check your uh, sh shaft retaining screws. Not a biggie. I mean, it's uh, not a biggie if you don't lose them. I mean, if you check them, if you check them before and add some Loctite, it's it's not hard. But uh, of course, if uh, you know you don't. You don't suspect them being loose, and then you go on flight, and, and these come out because this this one was very loose. So 
So if this come off, and you know, that's not a, that's not good. But other, other than that, uh, the motor is v very nice, feels very solid, it's, it's super smooth. Uh, the, the tolerances are, are pretty good. Uh, the magnet gap is it's very very good. I mean it's it's very tight. So don't forget check the shaft screws. Uh, one thing I did notice on the Banggood uh, the Banggood uh, page, the picture they have for the magnets is a little bit different. Uh, uh, as you can see there, they are curved magnets but I think on the on the Banggood page that they're using just block magnets so that that's kind of that's kind of nice they're using curved magnets uh, as we know uh, a lot of the new motors coming out uh, like the Emacs are using these curved magnets uh, curved ma magnets and actually that that actually does does help in uh, making the motor more powerful uh, so you can see the um, the shaft is three millimeters there and it's five millimeters there so uh, another thing I noticed is the uh, the um, the shaft itself is a uh, it is hollow all the way all the way up all the way up to right there so you can see by see that. so it, it is hollow I don't know if that's a good thing because you you end up with uh, with uh, less material at that point there where where the shaft uh, meets this portion of the bell and that's a that's actually a high stress point uh, I think it, it would be best to just hollow it uh, like somewhere up to here not all the way to this point so uh, uh, just just my thoughts you know I, I don't know if that's gonna make any difference or if that's gonna be an issue so it, it's just something I noticed I, I would rather have it hollow just up to like right there you know you you're not really making it that much lighter by by hollowing it all the way there I might as well just hollow it all the way through. Uh, let's see the bearings. Bearings are supposed to be high quality NSK bearings, and these I believe are, uh, I believe they're seven OD, uh, three millimeter ID, and I believe they're four millimeter thick. I'm not sure. You have to. I would have to check, but I think that's th that's the nominal size. Uh, it's at the 2204. Uh, it's kind of a, uh, a size that is not as popular now. The 2205 motors are more popular. Uh, but you know, it's uh, some people may still want to use uh, uh, 2204 motors. Uh, so this this would be a this would be a, a choice. Uh, one thing though, the motor. The motor is very well built. It's uh, pretty, pretty solid. Uh, it feels like there's no play anywhere. When once you have it built, uh, uh, attached here. So let's see what it weighs. So it's a 27.1 grams. Not the lightest 2204. Not the lightest 2204, but uh, it is very solid. It's it feels very, very well made. So uh, if it uh, proves to be durable, uh, you know the extra couple of grams, it, it's uh, it shouldn't be an issue. 
so uh, you know, uh, 22 4 uh, should be good on uh, 4 inch and 5 inch uh, props. Uh, the light, the light, uh, uh, low pitch props, uh, 5 by 4 by 3. So I'll be running static thrust tests on those, and that uh, that's gonna be on the next section of the video. Okay, that was the thrust test for the uh, Racer Star RF 2204-2300kb motor. Uh, for 4 inch prop, uh, 4x4x3, we get about 800 grams. That's a pretty respectable amount out of uh, 2204. Uh, then we move on to the 5 inch prop. We're looking at about 1000 grams, uh, the lower 1000 gram uh, uh, for the 5 inch props. And the 6 inch props, we're looking at about 1200 grams thrust. Uh, when we compare this to the original Emax RS, uh, we can see that uh, it's only about 30 grams off on the 4 inch prop. And on the 5 inch props, uh, it's about, a, about 130 or so grams, which is uh, it's still pretty respectable, you know. Uh, uh, it's only when we move to the 6 inch props uh, that we do see a lot of difference uh, we're getting about 1500 out of the Emax uh, versus uh, uh, 1200 out of the uh, out of the uh, Racer Star 2204 uh, which is to be expected uh, it's a smaller motor 2204 motor uh, so I'd say overall the, the motor the motor perform very well for a 2204 and uh, it's a very w well built motor uh, from just inspect it, inspecting it, uh, seeing it in my, uh, on hand uh, it's only the only thing I found was the, uh, the shaft retaining screw uh, three out of the four motors had a, didn't seem to have thread lock so so it's a good idea to go through each motor and check the, the retaining screw and if it comes off easily then just uh, take it out and put a little bit of thread lock, blue thread lock or if you don't have any thread lock uh, at least put some uh, nail polish uh, that should uh, should keep it from backing out uh, again I don't know if that's could, it's gonna be become an issue that you know that it com can come uh, loose but uh, you know it's always good as a preventative measure. So uh, again, overall the motor, the motor should be a pretty good option for a budget uh, quad. Uh, thanks for watching and check back soon. I'll be uploading uh, some more uh, test results for other motors. Uh, so check back. Thanks.